Hi, I'm Lou, another episode of My Car Story. This is actually take two, so if you want to see the actual first footage of all the detail with the locomobile, I'm here with... Bob Joint. Bob Joint. He'll tell you all about himself, and I'll tell you all about him. He's a Pebble Beach judge, a Amelia Island judge. He's the man. With that being said, the second video is going to be all about riding in the locomobile. Take a look at the first one, My Car Story with Lou Locomobile. One word, locomobile. You'll see that one. I'll grab the camera. Thank you, Sheila. Sheila, stare next to your husband for a minute. Sheila was the uh, inspiration for me meeting Bob. I was standing next to her in a dinner at the Geneva Concourse, and we're gonna feature that in a second. And she was bragging about her husband, telling me how he knows everything about cars and what a wonderful guy he is. And I said, who is this man? And she introduced me to her husband, and we had a great time since then. So Sheila, thanks yeah, so much. You're welcome. Let me go right to some of the detail. We're not gonna take you all the way through all the detail of the locomobile again. But I do want to give you that, and there's the Geneva, Illinois, Geneva Concourse d'Elegance, fantastic car show in August that comes up. You, you, go third, ahead. Third week. Third weekend in August. You want to come and see that. So this is the detail quickly, and we're going to take a ride in the locomobile. So let me give you a quick overall of what it looks like. If this is the first video you're seeing, because you won't see these, there's only three left in the world. Notice the brass bumpers, the Tiffany headlights, and the most expensive car in 1920. You're looking at it. Bob, let's uh, have you jump in and start her up. All right. Let's go for a ride. Let me just fix this up. Spectacular. There we go. There we go. I think actually you probably. Alright, well, let's see. I think at the top they have to be lower. We may do that in another one. Bob, how does it shift? Very, with great difficulty. <laughs> Yeah, we, very we, can't, we can't go too fast because we've got the hood up in the back. We got the wind deflector up. We're gonna show you the gauging. And the locomobile. Notice the mileage on the original mileage, 24,900 miles. That's the original miles on this car. Wow. It's not a terribly practical body style, it's beautiful. But it was never intended to be driven in the rain. No windshield wiper, no weatherproofing. It's strictly for warm, nice day like this. So on the perfect day, we're turning out the perfect car. What was their slogan regarding this car? The best built car in America. <laughs> the best built car in America. When Rolls Royce set up a plant here in 1921 in Massachusetts, they said, look, we got to be the most expensive car locomobile is. But we were the best car in the world, so we got to be more expensive. So they raised, they looked at Loco's price list and they put their prices up $100 over the cost of the locomobile. Locomobile retaliated by raising their prices $200. I mean, <laughs> talk, about, talk about marketing suicide. But, <laughs> so they could still be the most expensive car. <laughs> but this is a real thrill to drive this. sharing with me in case people are watching this for the first time. It took you almost, you saw this car originally when you were 11. It took me 41 years to get it. I've had it 20 years. That's just a thrill. And I've probably, in the 20 years, I've probably driven the car maybe a thousand miles. But a thousand miles in this car is like a hundred thousand miles driving anything else. It's a real challenging machine.
right turnaround spot here. you what this thing can do. I'll okay. Like we will maybe get it up to about 48 miles. Right? All right. I'll hop I'll out. Turn it around yep. Up. There we go. No different than they are today.
is great. That is great. <laughs> Sounds great coming at you. Ah, uh, the perfect day for a locomobile ride. <laughs> Can't every day be a locomobile ride. Just like waiting for a locomotive. You can't wait to see it. There she is running. All right. I'll jump back in. On the other side. Push it in forward. Is that nice? Yeah, it is nice. And you know, it's, we're freezing that with pretty little, pretty trunk on the rear. You know, the top drops down in here, so it couldn't have been any higher. And it also carries the lines aesthetically of the bottom. Isn't that pretty with the top? Let me get an overall shot of that. Let's jump in her, Bob. Yeah, let's hop in her. Let's take a ride. Price to pay for the rich and yes. famous. <laughs> it was hard work getting to the top. It's going to be hard work once you well, got there. Well, most of them had chauffeurs. Okay, and there no, you go. There's the whole catch of chauffeurs. And, and I think the chauffeurs finally got tired of driving these cars because by the late 1920s, these were really like dinosaurs. The locomobile, when they brought this out in 1911, this chassis said it's the perfect car. You can never make a car more perfect. And they just kept building that car until. Uh, 1928, when there were only three of them were ordered, and that was the end. That, that was so, the end. It was just out, it was outdated, but they refused to change it. They said it's perfect, why change it? And that was it.
And you notice you don't downshift either. It's in fourth gear, but the engine has so much torque because of the huge 525 cubes that you never, you really don't have to shift this car very much because it's, it's so torquey. Once you just get it moving, get it in high gear and just let her go. You get in it, you get in a perfect day like this, and you get out of it, and you go, my problems just don't seem to be there anymore. That's right, I'm not too worried about it now. Okay, we'll take well, I want our viewers, if you're having one of those days where it's not so good, you jump on the locomobile like we are, and you just watch this video again and again, and you'll enjoy yourself every time. I'm going to shut the video off. Okay. I'm just going to say thanks for being on my car store. We're going to wrap it up. All right, I want to take look. one more jump out and show everybody the car one more time while we're at a stop sign. Okay, sounds good, Lou. Thank you very much. It's been fun, Lou. Let's take a look at this beauty.
Bob. It looks great. Thanks for being on my car story.